Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here. Now before I get started with this particular video that I do want to make for you guys, I do want to let you all know that this is basically going to be an open letter to Raw 5069. Because I have observed his behavior the past couple of days and in all honesty, I really don't like it. I think that Raw 5069 is dishonest, I think that he's immature, and I think he does a lot of these things for his own personal entertainment. And me personally, I think that this is highly unnecessary, and it isn't going to get any positive dialogue going in any way, shape, or form. Now, Raw, you're more than happy to reply to what I have said in this video. You're more than welcome to do so. However, if you choose to ignore me and what I have to say in this video, you're more than welcome to do that as well. I am merely making this video for my subscribers so that I can get a little bit off of my chest concerning this whole situation. Now, we're going to talk a minute about Capricious Black Box Raw because this is an individual who is really genuine. He loves to help people out the best that he can. He is really genuine when it comes to social interactions. He's an honest individual and he will tell you like it is the way that it is and how it is plain and simple there are a lot of Christians out there probably like you who literally hate having a conversation with capricious black box because he is full of honesty he is full of compassion for his fellow human beings and these things in all honesty I think Christians are allergic to because let's face it when a Christian like you gets into a discussion with an atheist they want to have a dishonest position right from the get-go. They don't desire having an actual dialogue with someone else in any way, shape, or form. Now, the only main reason that they may be interested in having a conversation like this is to be basically, you know, convert people into your religion. And to me, that is one of the most dishonest things a human being could ever encounter in his or her life. I just want you to know that. You see, Capricious Black Box the other day made a video about his father. And this is one of those times where he was really sensitive at that particular moment. You know, he had a lot of things going through his mind raw. And he made this video to all of his subscribers, you know, because I imagine it made him feel better. And he felt pretty good after he shared his personal issues with his subscribers. However, what he didn't really appreciate was the way that you approached him about this alleged Heavenly Father. Now I can understand why Capricious Black Box got offended because in all actuality, number one, there is no evidence in anywhere, shape or form that remotely suggests that there is this creator of the universe. Number two, it was a little inappropriate to bring this alleged creator into the conversation. You know, like you said, what about your Heavenly Father? And that's exactly what you said to Capricious Black Box Raw. That was highly inappropriate. It didn't need to be there in the first place. Capricious Black Box was basically looking for an honest conversation, a genuine conversation, and you failed to give him one of those things by spewing your religion all over the place, and you really didn't care about it all. And that's all there is to it. I can understand why Capricious Black Box was a little upset with you about this. One more thing I want to talk about is the fact that you disable your reply on the statements that you make in other people's comment sections. Now, I sit here and I think about it for a while, Raw, and you know what that actually does? It destroys your credibility. No one, and I mean no one's going to take you seriously because you won't let them reply to what you have said. Basically, to you, this is a one-way streak. You're not allowing anybody to have any kind of a conversation with you by doing these things. And to me, it's a little immature. To me, it's a little childish. And so it is something that two-year-olds do, plain and simple. It's not something that us grown-ups do. If you're truly into having an honest, genuine conversation about something, take that disabled reply off. Because in all honesty, the more that you have it there, the less and less people are going to talk to you. 
They're not going to talk to you because of this whole situation. It's boring. They're not interested in the only, only hearing your side of the story. When in all actuality, they should, you know, be able to have a conversation with people like you. But your position is disabling the reply and not letting them get their two cents in, not letting them defend themselves. And to me, that is rather pathetic, immature. And it's a waste of time to even engage in a discussion with you. And that's all I have to say about that, Raw. Because you're only making things worse for yourself. You're only digging a hole deeper and deeper and deeper for yourself. And you're damn right, I am going to stick up for Capricious Black Box. He's a wonderful individual. He has compassion for his fellow human beings. I actually look up to the man because there's a lot of things that I can learn from him. And there's a lot of things that you can learn from him as well. And that's if you take off your God glasses and actually pay attention to what the man has to say. Plain and simple. Because all of this nonsense that you seem to promote isn't going to get you anywhere. It's not going to get you an honest discussion. It's not going to get you any kind of positive interaction in any way, shape, or form. All you're going to do is create this hostility for yourself, and there are going to be a lot of people that are not going to take you seriously because of this whole situation with you disabling the reply button. You're only going to feed hostility. People are going to continue to call you out on your bullshit unless you give them an opportunity to defend themselves when you talk about them. You gotta do that. That's a, shy, that's a show of respect. And in all honesty, I haven't seen any respect from you or many other Christians like you who hold this same position. You guys want a one-way streak and that's it. You don't want to hear any opposing ideas. You don't want to hear anything coming from other individuals that obviously think different from you. It is pathetic, it is nonsense, and it doesn't need to happen. Plain and simple, raw. And you need to learn how to interact with people. You need to learn to put that alleged word of God to the side for a while and actually pay attention to what people have to say. Actually do it. Gain some knowledge from it. Appreciate it. Respect it. But right now, you're not doing any of those things because you choose to go an inappropriate path. And not only inappropriate, but immature. And that's really pathetic. And that's all I have to say about that. So please feel free to share this video with anyone that might be interested, whether it be on Facebook, Google+, Tumblr, Reddit, Yahoo, or wherever you guys hang out. Also, please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below as well. I'd really like to see your opinions on this interaction between Raw5069 and Capricious Black Box. I want to see your opinions about this issue, so let me know what you guys think. Till next time, Quiet Atheist is out, and remember... If you can't be good, be good at it. Most of all, thank you for watching, and I will see you next video.